All right, folks, we're up in the woods like normal. I got a couple of products to show you here that are going to be used for our high frequency ham radio transmission system. Uh, <clears throat> what I have here is a uh, Yesu, uh, or I don't know if it's Yesu Vertex Standard Co. LTD Vertex Standard Co. or Yesu, but uh, this is a power gain ATAS 120A. It's the automatic tuning antenna system made in Japan. Yeah, I'm gonna crack that open on tape for you here in just a second. And I also have the uh, the mount that is recommended for it, the Diamond Antenna K400S. Uh, another Japanese product here. And this went for about 80 bucks. And the guys at the store swear to me that this will be strong enough to hold this big heavy antenna. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Let's see what they look like. Give you guys all a shot of what comes in the box with these products. Here we go. One handed, as usual. One handed product reviews, guys. How do you like that? So, here is our ATAS. This is the cap. I've already read the instructions earlier. That's how you put the antenna on. Got some stickers. And I want to be careful I pull this out without ruining it. So that's uh, one of our aerials there, or our whip, I should say. And this is our preloaded motorized coil. See if we can get that out of the package for you without damaging it. And there it is, folks. Power gain ATAS 120 Yesu Moose and Co. Made in Japan. That's how you know it's high quality stuff. Hopefully, this thing installs on my truck in the back somewhere without flying off. And apparently, it's got a little motor in it. And uh, it can uh, automatically adjust its own length. So this thing can move up and down according to the band. Oops, I may have had the microphone covered there. I apologize. This is the uh, the uh, Yesu ATAS 120A active tuning antenna system. And uh, you can see uh, that it, it's... It, Screws on a mount here and it's motorized. The upper half screws up and down and that changes the loading of the coil. Um, and this part screws into here later while you put the cap on. So we're gonna mount that on the truck somewhere, I believe. And then we have this Diamond Antenna K400S mount. Now you'll have to forgive me, I kind of do things uh, one-handed here, so. Here's our little mount. This can like clip on to your tailgate somewhere or something like that. And that will hold the antenna. It'll be like, like this. The guys at the store swear that will be strong enough for me. And I got the end caps for the screws here. This is uh, it came with Allen wrenches. It came with the adapter to go from SMA to the, uh, I forget exactly what this, uh, the P, I forget exactly, what is it? PL259 UHF, let me try and get it right for you guys so I don't sound like an idiot. There's some directions, and uh, looks like a fairly high quality connector here with a waterproof cap, so if you remove your antenna, you can put the waterproof cap on, which is nice. It doesn't look waterproof, but it is a cap. Uh, and I've heard that You'll know that your stuff is high quality when you see that it has the honeycombed uh, impedance gaps there. I'm not sure how true that is, but it does look, it looks like something you'd get from Pasternak. It looks like a really high quality connector. But uh, yeah, that is the uh, Diamond Antenna K400S mount package that was recommended to go along with the ATAS 120 antenna. 
and I'm going to try and mount these to my car and we'll see if we can use my FTD X10 with them. We'll see what happens. Stick around.